Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back working on the 63 ragtop. Now, work is moving right along. We've got both quarters welded on. I don't remember where the last thing I showed you was, so we're going to go over it. Both quarters, or rear bumper mounts, welded. These sections cut out. That panel is cleaned up. We're good to go with that. Both sides I have cut out and fit. The body mounts. On this side, I've patched that inner structure, and I have a new one waiting there to go over it after we do a little priming. And we've, you can't really see well, but the entire bottom of this is stripped of heavy flaky rust and rust mort slash phosphoric acid. Right now, I've got the rust mort soaking um, because we're going to scrub it with a red pad and rinse it with water and dry it because then... We're going to be coating the package tray now with Master Series. It's a silver uh, rust stopping paint and it's actually a rust stopping paint. You can brush it, spray it, etc. Inside gas tanks, outside of gas tank, chassis. And it's a moisture cured urethane, single use, uh, no, I mean uh, rather one part, no hardeners, but it cures by the moisture in the air so it'll dry pretty quick today because it's about 90% humidity um, you can put it over rust you can put it on not rust I've done that bare metal is scuffed with like 36 60 grit ish rust is uh, hit with a wire wheel a cleanup disc and the phosphoric acid now the big deal with this once you open the can put some saran wrap over it then put the lid on. This stuff is will weld the lid to it because it's aluminum. The uh, paint is aluminum and it hardens and it, I've lost half a can because of it. And that's the whole point of this. You're going to pour what you use, you want to use now, in here. Now you might be wondering how high are the solids. Quite solid. you got to stir this stuff up real good before you start using it. So we've got all this nice prepped metal white and black is treated. There's probably some surface rusting left, but this will fix that. And it'll never come back. This is the stuff they use in like bridges. So we're just gonna put it on. And when you buy this, buy it online, or if you're in Connecticut, Stafford Swamp Meat, Chuck's there with it, and you can buy it from Chuck online. Um, they'll give you all the paperwork needed for it, all the information. They don't just make the silver. The silver is the rust paint, and then they have a top coat for it if you want it to be black. they got a black top coat. This stuff is so thick that it will fill small pinholes even. Alright, so we got the bottom done, the first coat. We're going to let that dry. I think it's like 30 minutes. It's humid enough, so I believe it. And then uh, we'll hit it with another coat. Alright guys, so we got the whole chassis, or the underside of the package tray, master series. So we're going to seam seal where our patch is here, where our joint is. The welds are pretty nice anyway, but I just want to make it extra protected. We're going to do the inside too, but we're going to seam seal this. Now, you could use any uh, seam sealer you like. You could use a typical one part comes in a tube like this. This one I don't use because I don't like that brand, Dynatron. Uh, what we'll be using is 3M Heavy Bodied. This is a two component seam sealer, which means you also need the two component gun. Now, you don't need to buy the 3M or the SEM two component gun. This is an Amazon special, it was like 40 bucks. They all work the same. You also don't need to buy just 3M seam sealer. You could get SEM also. That's also very good. This is just what I happen to buy. So, the deal with this stuff, take it out. It uses these special mixing tips, the static mixers mixes both parts equally 
and dispenses it. So let me show you. So first things first, when you open a new tube, you gotta purge it. So you take it without a mixing tip. And get both parts coming out. Next, you can put the tube on and the lock ring. Now, SEM does not use a lock ring, their mixer screws on. But you got the lock ring. Now, you got to work time with this. This will harden really quick. You'll run a line out, looks good, and you go to what you're working on. And now it's like any other seam sealer, just put it on, that's the only bad thing, is that if you're going to buy it, try to seam seal a lot of stuff at one time because now, we've just done this, that tube is garbage now. Not the tube, sorry, the mixing tip is trash now. So like I was saying, that tube is garbage now. The mixing tube, the tube of sealer is fine. You just leave the mixer on it, and that'll seal the air from getting in and messing up any of the either component. But That's all set. That's good to go. Now the real nice thing about this is that'll be dry to touch in like 15 minutes. All right guys, and there we go. We got this welded on to where it needs to be, except for that part. That's just because it's not connected to the heater channel anymore. So, this is all welded, these are ground down, inside ones aren't ground down, we'll handle that at a later date, but we'll be able to put a little glaze on this to fill those welds in, obviously we'll prime it first, any primer will fill in any pinholes, and now my plan with this car is to strategically seam seal stuff like this, really tight with tape, so there's not like a bead, it's just right on the edge. That way nothing can get behind. Behind this is Master Series, I'm not afraid. Um, and after it's painted, I'll be filling everything with cavity wax um, so it doesn't rust, so that'll be good. But I think this is gonna wrap up our video for now. Well guys, that's gonna wrap us up with the rag top for today. We got a lot done. Got some stuff welded on, some stuff painted. That's a lot of work. So hopefully next time we'll get some more stuff done. Maybe weld in these braces here, maybe the apron, who knows. We're going to order some floor pans and channels soon. We'll see what we can do with that. But until then, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.